since Spaces is powered by the Ministry of Retro Gaming. Sonic 3D, Flicky's Island Let's Play. Since Spaces. G'day invaders, Brian here from Synth Spaces with my continued look at the Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection and we are finally uh, getting towards the end of the Sonic games and this is going to be a look at Sonic 3D Flicky's Island uh, known in some parts as Sonic 3D Blast I don't know why they had to change the name up uh, Flicky was referring back to a 1985 character from Sega and I happen to have that original game on the SC3000. There it is, Flicky. Uh, and it is, this one is dated back to 1985, I believe. Checks, checks. Sorry, 1984. So this is referring back to a very old Sega IP. And I kind of like how they uh, did a little nod back to their past and tried to drag an old character back and make it relevant again. Um, but this game was very ambitious. It was um, perhaps a little too ambitious. We'll have a look at it. It has very, very impressive uh, graphics for a 16-bit machine. And it was actually outsourced to an external company. So Sega themselves didn't run, program this. It was Traveler's Tales. And Traveler's Tales were the people who eventually went on to become responsible for all those Lego titles which, you know, raked in the money for them. Um, but as for me, I, I don't really have any memories of this game myself because I wasn't really playing it back in the time. I was all about the CD quality music and I was focused on getting my, my little library built up for the Mega CD at that time considering I just dropped 450 bucks for it back then in 1992, 93. I was really trying to go all in on yeah, getting that library built up. Does it hold up? Does this game hold up in 2018? Let's have a look. All right, so we are Sega! diving into Flicky's Island. And this is Traveler's Tales, like I said, the people that did the Lego series. And look at this full motion video in a Mega Drive title. God, he looks like he's running to take a dump. That's impressive, and he fought uh, really hard, the lead programmer, but apparently to get that put in to the game. I'd hate to imagine how much of the memory that is taking up. I'll put a little did you know fact up somewhere once I find out how much. All right, uh, give me one second while I adjust the gameplay. Uh, okay, nothing to do here. Continue on. All right, now, <clears throat> haven't played this. Flickies are mysterious birds. They can live in another dimension, can travel anywhere through large rings. Okay. Robotnik learns about the Flickies. I will change the Flickies into robots and have them search for the Chaos Emeralds for me. Using the infinite power of the Emeralds, I can conquer the world. <laughs> I can't do Robotnik's voice. And it's Robotnik, not Eggman. <laughs> Sonic visits Flicky Island to see his friends, but the only thing he finds are the robots. Robotnik made my friends like this. I must save them. Robotnik must be stopped. Sonic starts to defeat the enemies in order to rescue the Flickies who are trapped inside. That's pretty much what Sonic does. Go Sonic, you can warp through the big rings with the help of the Flickies, chase after the Robotnik and defeat his plans. Not big on the plot. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now, first off, can you run off the edge? No, that's good. So that stops you from unnecessary deaths. Cool. Alright, so, so far I'm, I'm liking it. It's a little bit sloppy on the controls, but I don't mind it. Now, apparently there is a director's cut made almost 20 years after the game came out by the same programmer and his name John uh, John Burton I wanted to make sure that was correct before I said it so yeah John Burton is the main programmer and he's been going online and making YouTube videos about 
the little secrets within this game which is quite cool like yeah 20 odd years later we're still finding out new things about this game so, I don't know what I just did then so okay it's just weird playing Sonic in a 3D space So what, every 25... Now every time I rescue one of the, every time I beat a boss, a flicky comes out. I've got to gather them up. Like flicky in the game on the, on the SC3000. Okay, that's cool. I like that. They've, they've taken an aspect of flicky from the old... SC3000 game and turn it into a modern component of this game. Can you get used to the controls? And yeah, I, I think you can. It's not perfect. I can't. Ah, oh, no. Can I go through that? No, I cannot. Alright, just I'm just exploring. I not really played this. And much. to think that this is a Mega Drive game and that they actually made the same game for the Sega Saturn. And it's not much different. It is actually quite almost like the same game. I'm sure I went on top of that before. Maybe I didn't stand on it properly. So I think this is where people had a problem with this game was that the controls are a little bit finicky. The way he moves is uh, a little bit... Not a... Oh, I didn't want to go down. It's not very fluid. Yeah, it is a little clunky, but... I wouldn't get go getting too hard on the programmer for for that. It's probably the first time they've done ah 3D space in a game before. So this came out in '96. This is after Mario 3D. So you can see that hey, Sega were playing catch up at this stage. And they were desperate to get Sonic in a 3D title. But they just didn't know how to go about doing it elegantly. I don't know. I think if I was a kid in 96 and I got this for Christmas, I'd be happy. But I'd be also kind of thinking it's not as good as Sonic. And I'm sure that most people would agree hence that the metacritic score for this game is probably way lower than the standard sonic games and i think that pretty much goes without saying but i think that you gotta give the devs one thing that they were very brave at attacking a new style of gameplay altogether trying to be a bit more ambitious kind of reminds me of Landstalker except the fast paced version of it I'm sure these guys just played Landstalker and went yeah we need to do that what am I meant to do what did I do I, I don't understand what I did to trigger off to be able to get past that level So, by 1996, I was well and truly no longer interested in getting or obtaining new Mega Drive titles. I was focusing by this stage on saving up for a PlayStation. Yeah, I know. I did want a Sega Saturn, but the Sega Saturn was just not being advertised and I really didn't know what was being released for it. Meanwhile, Sony's marketing was just killing it. So even if you were the biggest hardcore 
Where's it going? Oh. Even if you were a big hardcore Sega fan like I was, um, you were still looking at the Sony offering and thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't get get that. <laughs> huh? Can I go in there? No. Don't. Oh, that's the dude I took out before. Right. I think I'm I'm on the right path. I think Knuckles is up here. I oh, know. Shield. Wrong. All right. Here's a little something that will annoy a few of you. Um, <laughs> I'm more of a Sonic fan than I am a fan of the games. Does that make sense? I like the character, but I found that it's very hard to get a good Sonic game. But that's not to say that there's bad Sonic games. It's just a harder character to translate into a video game. Because he's so fast... Yay! I like that extra man sound. Um, because he's so fast, it's hard to get him to... How can I explain it? Like, now I'm going really fast, but I don't know what's ahead of me, so I'm having to guess. Alright, Sonic Sponer Stage. Thank you. Now do it right this time. Oh, you got to press forward and jump. This is awkward, but weird. It's cool, though. Now I've got to get 100 rings. Okay. So you got to remember, at this time, a lot of people still weren't used to 3D graphics in games. It still wasn't a regular thing to have um, all 3D levels. So this would have been new to a lot of people, even at this stage. Chaos! That's my SMS sound, by the way. Alrighty. I got two more to get. Where are they? Wish they gave you a map. I feel like I'm going around in circles. It's a basic little concept for a game, but I actually think it's addictive. Now, one thing that I have to talk about is how brave was it for a decision for Sega to offer a third party company oh that it's up there oh I get it I didn't work out why it was in the trees before anyway what I was saying before is it, it was a brave decision for Sega to give out their license to Traveller's Tales a company by this stage had little reputation they did tra uh, Wiz and Liz I think I, I'm not sure I might be wrong <laughs> But the, what I'm getting at is not many people had heard of them at that stage. I'm still trying to find these um these other two f robot the other two flickies. Where are they? I think this just leads to a shield. It's a dead end, I think. Yeah. It's a case of just going around and exploring. Ho 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 ho! That was close! So this is Flicky Island, and it's supposed to be uh, the home of Emerald Chaos, Gen Chaos Emeralds, I'm supposed to say. But you know, what is canon and what is law in S Sonic anymore? It is one of the most complex, convoluted 
IPs of all time. Do you count Archie's comics as lore anymore? Now that it's dead? Done! And we are out of here! <laughs> No points for time, that one. It's the fat bastard. Ugh. So when he drops his ball, that's when he's vulnerable. Give me a ring. Thank you. Oh my god! Oh, I haven't been hitting him properly. It's only when he flashes it counts as a hit. You can see what happened there? I can't get the 3D right. See, I'm, I'm swinging at him thinking that it's going to be a, a hit. I'm getting the 3D part wrong. There we go, that registered. Come on! Ah, uh, way off. This is tricky! Nice, he's starting to get a bit bashed up. Nice. Not hitting him properly. Yeah, get your big fat lad butt out of here. <laughs> no time. Oh, time bonus. All right, I'll take it. So that was the first zone. Now we... Okay, so straight away, it's just the same thing but with different colored grids. So I can see where that could be an issue. <laughs> But the game starts to get a little bit more complex with things like this. Oh my god, you need a full thing to get that extra man. Was that a B? And they've kept the original sound for Flicky when of the uh, original games. So Flicky was originally an arcade game, and then they converted him to the SC3000. And then... And then he later came on to the um, Mega Drive. Ah... Uh, come on. So there was a cheat, or a bit of a hidden, hidden little Easter egg, as they call it. I never liked that term. A little secret um, that if you wiggle the cartridge, it activated a cheat. And the reason for this was because it was supposed to be like a a save state. I don't know the exact comp the story behind it. I know that. There was bugs in the program and he didn't want to release it with bugs in the program but he couldn't have time to test it all or something along those lines where am i going what where where am i oh okay <laughs>
I need to get one more. Here it is. Extra man. So there's plenty of ways to get extra man. That's pretty easy. No! Ah, far out. Where did this other one go? There's a flicking missing. Flicking hell. See, there's an extra man always in there. So, provided you go there and just go for grabbing it, it's always on offer. Ah, uh, that's an infinite loop. Oh, come on. Well, there's no point in going there with that anyway. Um, where is this other flicky, guys? Hello? Where is it? Oh, I just spotted him. Oh, he was camouflaged, a little sod. No wonder I couldn't see him. Mate, you got to change your colour. Yay, activated. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh wow, oh, that was pretty cool. Where did I get the idea to make him into a twirly top? When did that become a thing? Uh, I gotta go um, back. So it's like a puzzle element that you need that to unlock certain sections, yeah. Uh, am I just going around in circles? Well, I am, but you know what I mean. All right, up. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Right now, hey, up. Get the flicky. Thank you. Oh, now he's got to stop. Get the green flicky. I don't remember there being green flickies. They were always blue in my books. Oh, I need more flickies to get the uh, extra man. I do like how you can't fall off the edge. That would have been so annoying. Red. What? Oh, that makes you immune to the fire. Okay. Oh no, I needed that. It's kind of like controlling a remote control car rather than controlling a Sonic. I was on the spin dash when I hit him. Come on. Got two more to go. And I need, uh, I need to come down here with a twirly top. Where do I get that? Come here, little guy. All right. Oh, this is gonna suck. I have to go all the way down here in twirly top mode and avoid hitting any of those. Uh, I think I will call this an end. My thoughts on Flicky Island. Um, I don't know. I kind of enjoyed it, but I wouldn't want to be playing it for too much longer. I, I think it had potential, but it just needed more development time. Um, John, what was his name? John Burton and his gang. I think they did a very, very good job considering that they were using very limited hardware to try and take out an ambitious title like this um, but it was actually I'm just looking at that spike spinning around that actually looks pretty cool now that I hang on 
That is actually really neat. The, the 3D effect on that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it's got its moments, but... It just came out too late in the, in the cycle of the Mega Drive. By 1996, Mega Drive was starting to move on, and Sega Saturn and all these other consoles were... And PlayStation was on the scene. No one was really looking at Mega Drive anymore. Everyone was looking at the 3D graphics of the um, Sony PlayStation and also the Sega Saturn. Well, not many people looked at the Sega Saturn, sadly enough. Anyway, that's been my Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please leave a comment, a like, and all that usual stuff. You know the drill. And uh, down below, you'll see my Patreon page. I have been lucky enough just recently to pick up enough money to get myself a camera. And I'll be putting that to use on the next episode of the Synth Spaces show so I'm looking forward to that have a good Christmas, we're a couple of days out from Christmas as I'm recording this um, it's boiling hot actually in this room uh, but uh, you guys in the UK, I hope you guys are keeping warm, in the meantime my name has been Brian and I've been gaming since Spaces, thanks guys Since spaces. <laughs>